yearning hearts, they're waiting the coming of a blessed comer. Carried by sea, hope is pedal, and patience navigates the vessel. And year long, they ruminate the reminiscences of pilgrims heading to the sacred house. The whole city is preparing to receive the godly missionaries clad in whites, a tribute to them from the Lord of the Worlds. Look at these lads, seeking the nectar of the soul, seeking water from the greatest well. The fathers and forefathers taught from ancestry that it's the best nourishment, the cure from ailment, and the mystery of the remote history. What's the story of Zamzam, the great divine miracle? Such an amazing story of given, whose settings are earth and heaven. The scene is a barren desert at a valley with no plant. Hagar using hands to bring together to restrain the gushing water. Blessed is the distressed mother. Had she left Zamzam water up to go, it would have become an abundant flow. Gabriel stepped hither. Then the great well gushed superior to all other, a miracle to stay forever, reviving the old tradition. With a water so pure, drinking it is a devotion, and to body and soul is a cure, a blessing from the merciful God. And the prophet blessed it even more. With a touch of his mouth and his heart was wherewith washed. It's a divine gift to the devout, never failing nor drying out. Feeling hungry? Be its guest. Its oft drinker suffers. No hunger nor thirst. Oh, Zam Zam. What a wonderful well. A miracle, timeless and eternal. There are only 21 meters that separate the Kaaba from the well of Zamzam. The mouth of the well lies underneath the Mataf area, parallel to the black stone. It has two springs from which pure water issues forth. One from the Kaaba direction and the other from Abu Kubay's mount and the hell of Safas. That venerable well is ever clean, having no moss, insects, fungi, or other unusual water contaminators. By the grace of God, Zamzam's fresh water continues to outflow at 11 liters per second as minimum rate and 18.5 liters per second as maximum. The amazing thing is that such a prolific well is only 31 meters deep underneath the Kaaba diameter. The journey of the blessed water starts by pumping up water from the well, using two huge water pumps working alternately for 24 hours a day. 
Soon after, the pumped water is transmitted to the King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz project for Zamzam water in Kadai through special pipelines to maintain its unique characteristics. Crystal clear water is on the way. Come, O oh seekers, no delay. As for the Prophet's Mosque, Zamzam water is transported to it in tankers with standard specifications. Their lids and valves are securely locked to preserve the water from any extraneous elements. No one can unlock them but the person in charge at the Prophet's Mosque. Normally, 150,000 liters of water are transported per day, but this figure goes up to 400,000 liters per day during religious seasons. The processes of water drawing and pumping and the controlling of pipelines and tankers through optical fiber technology are all carried out using the high-tech SCADA system. The blessed water is provided at the two holy mosques in sterile containers, carefully distributed at drinking places and courtyards. The containers are prepared at various filling points inside the Grand Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque, and then moved on electric carriers inside and around the two mosques. For their convenience, visitors can drink water cool or otherwise, and for hygienic reasons, disposable plastic cups are provided. About two million cups are used on a daily basis. Containers' top lids are securely locked for tampering or contamination. Predefined steps of periodic washing and sterilization of containers are carried out at special stations. Fixed drinking fountains are distributed inside and around the Grand Mosque in Mecca and the Prophet's Mosque in Medina, including all piazzas and floors. Additional cool water tanks are made available during seasons. For the convenience of prayers and visitors, the Sabil, located in the eastern side of the Grand Mosque's piazza, is assigned for the on the way water filling to mitigate the crowds. New backpack water containers have further been introduced to provide water at crowded areas like the Mataf. Also, the presidency of the affairs of the two holy mosques has provided small filtered water bottles to be distributed around the Mataf to the occupants of the first line for prayer and in the funerals area. The Zamzam water dispensed in the Grand Mosque is estimated 700,000 liters per day, but this figure springs to 2 million liters per day during seasons. Random samples of water are taken from containers, fountains, and tankers around the clock to verify that water is free from contaminators, impurities, and bacteria. Up to 100 samples are taken on a daily basis to be tested in a special lab. What a wonderful journey!
An important question is yet to be asked regarding the plant that runs the great project of Zamzam Water Dispensation. In 1431 H, 2010 G, the inauguration of the king, Abdullah bin Abdulaziz plant in Kadai area in Makkah marked a breakthrough in the Zamzam water project. Thanks to that plant, people have been spared the strenuous efforts they used to make in their attempts to get access to the best water on earth. New exceptional safety measures are now in place to ensure that the blessed water is safe from contamination and tampering. It's now to be bottled automatically, following pertinent international automation standards. The project includes an automated central warehouse to store and distribute 1.5 million 10-liter bottles on a daily basis. To make it easy for families and individuals to get access to Zamzam water, barcode readers have been made available to read the receipts and dispense water bottles automatically. Last but not least, it's incumbent to highlight the role of the wise leadership of the kingdom represented in His Majesty the Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz, and his Crown Prince, who save no effort, and always seek to make use of the latest technology in order to keep this blessed Zamzam water in its original unpolluted condition and make the water available to all Muslims worldwide. That couldn't be achieved without the praiseworthy efforts of the officials and workers of the two holy mosques who undertake that mighty task for which they dedicate their lives and experiences. These are the choicest of officials, workers, supervisors and clerks who have set an excellent example of diligence and sincerity to all who would later take part in that great responsibility. Finally, thanks are extended to the General President of the Affairs of the Grand Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Abdulaziz al Sudais. The messenger, peace be upon him, said about Zamzam, It is blessed. It is enough as food to satisfy. Allah.